Hey guys, so I'm at the grocery store awkwardly filming a video and I kind of want to talk to you a little bit about how to pick out a good cereal or if there is even a good cereal. So a lot of times we wander down the aisle and we know that certain cereals are bad for you, but then if we look, we see all these ones that look like they're good. So we've got our Kashi brand cereal. And if I look at the ingredients though, the first ingredient is whole grain oats, which is great, and then our soy flakes. So the protein that's gonna be served in this is soy protein, which is something you wanna avoid. Soy protein can actually mimic estrogen. Um, I had too, some, too much soy at one point in my life and I thought I was pregnant. So some things like that you wanna stay away from. Um, then you may say, oh look, I've got granola. Granola is healthy for me, right? Well, if I look at the back of this, whole rolled oats, great. Second ingredient, milled cane syrup. And one of the things to know about um, ingredient lists is that the first five ingredients are what the majority of that um, product is made up of. So if the sugar is the number two ingredient, that's probably something you wanna stay away from. In fact, granola actually is a really sugary thing that you wanna kind of stay away from in general. Um, if I move down the aisle, I know a family favorite of ours in the past has been honey bunches of oats. Um, if I look here, corn, whole grain wheat, great. Sugar, third ingredient. And then it starts going brown sugar, vegetable oil, canola oil, wheat flour, which wheat flour doesn't mean it's whole wheat flour. If it's wheat flour, it could be white flour. Um, corn syrup, which is more sugar, and all of this kind of stuff, and you go on and on and on, and the ingredients really aren't that healthy for you. So if you have to have a cereal, um, my recommendations for you are to find something that has very few ingredients and it doesn't have a ton of added sugar. So if I look at traditional shredded wheat, these ingredients are whole grain wheat, and that's it. So that's definitely something that you could eat and then put in fresh berries with it. Um, Cheerios aren't awesome, but they are better for you. So if you look here, it's got whole grain oats, corn starch, which is fine, it's just a thickening agent, sugar, salt, and then they've got some vitamins. So it's definitely a smaller list. There's still sugar in it, um, but then you can actually look at the that's where I look at the label and the sugar is one gram of sugar per cup. So that's actually really not that bad. But here's the trick with reading labels. You don't want to, first of all, look at the calories and then look at the carbs, fats, proteins. You wanna go straight to the ingredients list. How many ingredients are there? What are those first five ingredients? And then you can look from there at, okay, so there's sugar in it. Well, now I'm gonna look at the label and see how many grams of sugar. Hopefully that helps. Comment below, let me know what you guys think. And I'll talk to you later, bye.